welcome. First of all, I wanted to announce that my first part of the video series of the new generation coil is available for my member site for you to view. You will see a couple of functionalities which I haven't shown before. One of them would be to demonstrate when you use an additional signal how the interference is producing exponentially more power output. But now um, to a couple of um, questions from you concerning about um, um, stray capacitance or power which would cause this kind of anomaly, uh, anomaly and I would like to address it. First of all, no instrumentation around here. Second question was, did I move that coil around? Does it change anything? No, it doesn't change anything at all. It stays as it is. Second point, the coil is energized currently via the signal generator with low power and as you can see in here it's a, it's a speaker cable to wire however it is not connected in bifilar section it is connected parallel that means the B fields cancel each other out you will also notice that I have nothing connected here so technically we have a transmission line one output only so we have here this uh, coil connected here horizontal around this tube and we have the red um, wire it's one wire is connected at the same direction but we use only one wire so we have no return pass to ground our return pass is technically the barrier between the medium or let's say the two um, the radiant energy we are flooded around here is this is my boundary and this is actually um, a virtual ground if you want if you if you can call it like that so this virtual ground is providing um, the return pass to the LED so LED the power goes through the LED and the return pass is giving him it the sync capability that this uh, light is illuminated now this device is not efficient enough we know that the human body is capable of harnessing radiant energy but also for emitting radiant energy they call it stray capacitance but I don't think that's the right term everybody who used working on a Tesla coil knows this phenomenon that you when you touch a fluorescent bulb close to or in a, a proximity of a Tesla coil that this um, fluorescent bulb started to lit up so we have the same thing here as you can see if I go with my hand in here now I get it to full power output so the full power output would be around 120 milliampere from a high impedance load of 5 volt so there are a couple of other things um, um, I can do we have only voltage in the system so as I mentioned the coil goes in here but we are not connecting it in bifilar section we are connecting it in parallel that means B will can cancel each other out that means what I, what I get here is technically almost zero current really zero current because it's not going through to demonstrate that I go one step further I take away and I need to mention what happened if I did connect that wrong it actually started to burn based on nothing it started to burn based on the energy which was available so I disconnect this one now as you can see here now I can really say 100% sure there is no current it's only potential the light is out and if I touch now the light is full power on right so this is definitely proof we have only potential available and only potential in transmission line is enough when we want to energize something um, to the field so radio engineers know, know about that they have antenna system let's call it an antenna and I want to pump some energy in here I want to radiate energy I would use um, um, filter systems for impedance matching I would use load balancer 
I talked about it in history many, many times. But here in this example, we're not talking about high voltage. And that is something nobody, I mean nobody has ever done that before. High voltage, yes, can cause such kind of things. You want to put power through, you have to use a transformer. I'm not using a transformer. I'm using a single wire which cannot be energized in a transformer fashion. I even cancel my, my, my wires that I can make sure that I get only potential. And that's only potential. And what can I do with one wire if I don't have a return wire from, from a source, from an AC source? I cannot do much. I can tune a Tesla coil, yes, but that's about it. But I don't get power output. Now, I cannot stand here and touch the system the whole time to get the power output. Um, there is another way to deal with this, and you have seen that. But before I go to that, my question to you. Why does this LED lit up? How is it possible without return pass that it actually lits up? Uh, it should. That means I'm connecting just the LED here and have on the other side nothing connected. How is that possible it's still working? So that's a price question for you. If you can answer that, you can get uh, a reward for that. One reward would be um, a free membership for life. So, coming to the next question, how can we make sure that we get um, our energy into the system without actually standing there and connecting it? Okay, let's see if I can connect ground and if that works. For simplicity pur uh, purpose, I just demonstrate here again with a connection of um, my ground lead into the coil system and illumination. And I have here a ground wire connected to my mains ground. And if I connect that now here, I damage, I literally shunt it down to ground. That means I have no energy left anymore. I cannot to, um, put it to ground. Well. Then the radio engineer would say, oh, that's an impedance matching issue. You need to use a capacitor and you have to use it uh, to the ground here. You use a capacitor, it goes away. Now let's use a different capacitor. I tried it with 20 different capacitors. And guess what? They all shunt it to ground. It doesn't matter what kind of, uh, um, of, of capacitance you use. It's not going to work. You can't use ground because ground is drawing all the energy you have available in an environment down to Earth. Earth stores this energy, but it doesn't give it away. And if you see some um, other kind of um, um, definitions to that that's the case, then it's very, very tricky. Tesla's patents did overstate with the radiant energy connecting to ground. Tesla was saying that you need only potential in order uh, to have power output, but his patents never ever did in any way show that that is the case. He used always transformer. He used transformer to, um, to transform up, to step up the voltage. He used transformer to receive the voltage and to step it down into a load. This does not work. We cannot use it in this way. We have to use voltage, yes. We have to use without current voltage. And we have to get the radiant energy from the field to give us the power back. Now, coming now to the next session, how we can improve our um, load here. So you remember the devices I did build um, here about the capacitor and a special way to use the ambient energy or the, the org or the live energy to capture it in here to prove that it's working, but to very small levels because it's a very small surface area. And I thought, well, rather than touching it all the time, or just in the right way that it's just illuminating, it's, it's not the way. We need to have a system which allows us to give us this energy. And I was mentioned actually in the past to, um, to coils as well. We need to find another way to have the boundary back in a transmission line rather than having any kind of um, impedance matching system which is shunting the energy to the ground. So this coil, well, it works also with, without connection here. I have built in here. If I connect 
And you will see, if I connect that here on the other side, you see that both um, as a capacitor and inside field. If I connect the magnet, I literally kill my, um, my light output and my energy. If I connect, however, it here on the side, only on this one, for example, I haven't tried all the others, but you see I have full power output. No. Let's try my um, concentrator, my soft concentrator. So the soft concentrator is from the back side taking the energy in and is radiating it out on there. So I think that should be a good way to bounce back the energy I'm looking for. Let's see. Let's see if that works. Yes, it does work. I touch slightly and you see it's working. So I had wires before connected, so wires would then be connected here and that's how it's working. Now, you probably are anxious to see what happens now. Yeah, now take that off here. Take, take that off. Now we have only voltage. It's out. Is it still working? Yes. It's still working. The potential is slightly lower, but still working. If I put my hand, it's full. If I take the other one, it's good as well. So there's a lot of um, tests which need to be done for fine tuning and so on, but the coil is a starting point and I call it an energy or let's say an, an radiant energy exciting system where we use the potential only and as you can see we have potential only to charge our system and I can use an, a, a large capacitor bank actually to charge it up just from potential. And I think I'm going to show something in the future to make it even more um, extreme in a way to, to demonstrate that only potential is required to, in, co in con conjunction with radiant energy, when we combine that all together, we are getting the B and, and the E fields together and we having an energy power source we can use to charge batteries or capacitors. Thank you.